Our dear yeah. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your love. Your love that never wanes. We want to thank you specifically because the kind of love you have, you have put upon us, for us, for you to open our eyes to see most of these things that we are talking about. It's a privilege. I want to thank you for that privilege. Yeah. The privilege to know the truth. This privilege to be able to express the truth. There are some people who know the truth. They do not want to express it because of one fear or the other. But for us to be able to express it, I want to thank you for it. And we know that your power is behind us. You will open our mouth that we may be able to proclaim the truth and that the truth will be heard on the rooftop. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, Amen. everyone, for joining us again in this conversation. I can see that Dabatoki is smiling because this is another is going to be another uh, hot discussion. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Listen, to, listen to a couple of your videos. I listened to a couple a couple of your videos. Um, yeah. There was a particular one. You said that those who go to the Dunamis Dome at Abuja, that's called a nature's church, and uh, they fall under the spirit, uh, they fall under the anointing or under the spirit or fall in the spirit, you said that is shamanism. You said when um, uh, Adeboye went to Kenneth Egan's camp and uh, Kenneth Egan laid hand on him, if he just could not remember anything, he fell. Call that shamanism. You also, David Oedipo had a similar episode. He also fell under the anointing. You said, these people are a ladra. Now, today's conversation is on falling under the anointing or being slayed in the spirit. <laughs> is it a biblical practice? You see, when you talk about, this is what I've learned from the two elders here, that the things of the spirit has no uh, geographical limitation. Spiritual things are not Asian, they are not African, they are not American, they are not even Eastern, they are spirits. Because I said this to say that when the concept of falling under the spirit was being popularized by the works of Kenneth Egan and uh, Benny Hinn, we did not associate it with what the white government called a me because it's coming from America. <laughs> because it came from Oklahoma. So is it different from what they did in Oklahoma, what, what they practiced in Oklahoma, being slayed in the spirit, falling under the spirit? Is it different from what they also do as a me in the Ladura church? But if it's the same, that means this thing has been in Nigeria for a long time, way before Kenneth Egan's material, way before uh, Benin's material. Anyway, Edda Batoki always called them Aladura. Brother John, please describe to us. Uh, uh, before, John, before John goes on, I need you to really understand that most of the Pentecostal activities in Nigeria, they have been taken, uh, they, they, they are accepted even by the populace because of what has been going on in shrines and uh, in the Aladras, you just see that all they did was to anglicize mm. most of those things. Mm. Uh, most of those things, uh, visiting um, a geo so that he can pray for him. That's going to the Babalawo in a shrine to help you look at this thing. Uh, Daddy, uh, my wife is not uh, this thing. What can I do? The fire back to Babalao. Mm -hmm. Most of those practices have been here. Uh, but, uh, but now that uh, they they not coming in, uh, that is authentication. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so so the falling in the spirit, being slid in the spirit that was popularized by the works of uh, um, um, Rema or Klaoma, which is a Kenneth Kenneth and uh, Benny Hinn also. You know, when it came in, in an American package, we did not, uh, we, we were we were desensitized because oh, sure. it's American. 
if it's right to be right. But Baba said spiritual things, <laughs> they are not American. <laughs> spiritual things are not European. <laughs> spiritual things are spiritual. Brother John, please describe Emi to us how Emi is practiced in the Aladura. The how, they, how they buy Emi? <laughs> what is Emi? Please go ahead, Brother John. <laughs> Good. Morning, morning, afternoon, whenever it is, for whoever is listening. All right. So yes, how do they how do they receive a me? Now this question is a bit complex uh, because big by me to to receive a spirit is when you this okay. I will use the Pentecostal term indwelling of the spirit ability to later by me later so it's divided into two one is to receive the spirit so that you can be able to receive him um other time there is a time that it will start so it, sometimes it is by bed we've talked about this uh a, a long time ago okay so it's by bed if you are born by a prophet then you have a high tendency it's you can inherit it Okay, so um, if you are very serious, if you look very spiritual, you can also receive DME, but most of the time it's done formally. You will invite DME to come and DME will answer you. Mm. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's how it happens. But when they go into ME, to go into the, the trance, the way it happens is when they begin to sing some song continuously, they can sing it for maybe five or 10 times or 20 times. It depends on how sweet the song is. They continually sing the song repeatedly until something happens. And most of the time, the song will be very fast. Now, the concept of fast song, I want to believe, is because it will, you know, when something is very fast, you won't have time to think much. If it is very slow, you can reason. Sorry about that. Okay, so when it's a song is very slow, you can you can reason with it, you can think about it. But when it is very fast, you won't have time to think. You won't have time to to observe things, to to reason with things. So it will numb the mind. And when the mind is numbed, then the next thing will be that uh, something will catch up with. The uh, that is big by me. So uh, the person might fall, um, it might start behaving erratically, might start laughing or uh, saying some words they call speaking in tongues. Okay, so those are the things that will come in when someone uh, receive uh, the me. Now, when the, the song will be very fast, as I said, and sometimes. You know, you have to dance, you roll until the eyes, maybe one loses the balance and it just falls down. Uh, you can one receives the emit through that means. Then the one can also do it gently. You want to say something? Yeah. Yes, know. I want to say something because uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I want to say something because you are using by me, by me. Please speak English. Some of our some of our audience. They are complaining that we speak too much Yoruba and they are not following us because they are not Yoruba people. Oh, Please. Okay. So oh, this is very general and other people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So once you speak, once you once you use a term once, please define it and then speak speak it in English. Okay. All right. Please. That's all. Okay, sir. So um the big by me that I mentioned is uh, receiving a spirit or getting a spirit. And they use that term when someone wants to deliver a message. The end of it is that I want to uh, deliver a message. I want to say something. I want to, to have encountered, as the Pentecostal will put it, one must have a fellowship with a body, some bodies. Most of the time, most people who who receive these spirits, they claim that they, um, one angel speaks to them. Okay, they must bring something, a message from, 
from one spiritual realm. So that is how they receive uh, the spirit. And another way is to focus. Mm. To focus. Uh, <laughs> they focus. I, I, we are the one that know that they are trying to, you know, empty their mind and focus. But what they tell them, what the people who are the like the masters, the officials, what they tell them is that they should be in the spirit. Hmm. And how do I be in the spirit? They will ask you to 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 um, get away every form of distraction, whatever it is that can distract you or get your attention. Empty your mind. Um, let there be silence, stillness. Don't hmm. say anything. Hmm. Okay, be quiet for a minute or two be do away with every form of distraction okay and sometimes how you do it because it's not easy to get things off the mind right when you are trying to clear your mind that thing that you are trying to stay away from with you start thinking about it so some of the time what they do is that they they begin to say something they call that thing uh to draw higher at the fire that's just a chanting using the um green bridge to to form a song the, the song does not have to be very sweet just distract yourself by just say something just to distract yourself <laughs> just to get your mind off of maybe your anger maybe someone who offended you just to clear your mind so when one does that and empties his mind then something will happen a light most of them complain that uh not complain now uh confess or say it that they actually saw a light when the song was going on or when that thing was going on they always claim they saw a light which of course i have also seen before okay or when i was among them okay so um they see a light and if one continues in that um in that moment when we hear something, when we see something or hear something, some people hear and some people see. And when you see, you bring about an interpretation. So you, 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 just, you just say something. Okay, maybe you see three horses, three black horses. Then you just give it a symbol or a meaning to it. So, so and how do they receive the spirit? Those who, for example, if I'm observing, a, a CNS member who is uh, receiving the spirit in court. Um, how, what will I notice? What are the things I will notice from you? Uh, number one is the person might fall, might fall down. Most of the time it is a falling. The person falls down. And again, I, I will quickly come back to this, that receiving the spirit is not once and for all. Receiving Holy Spirit is not one time event. It's not something that relates with being born again at all. In fact, it has nothing to do with am I a sinner or am I not a sinner? Am I repenting or not? Am I believing Jesus Christ or not? No. It has nothing to do with the gospel. Receiving the Spirit, I can receive the Spirit today in today's service. If we are having a program tomorrow, I will receive the same Spirit tomorrow to deliver another message. Next, tomorrow, if we have another program, I will receive the Spirit again. I don't know if we get it. So it's not something that happens once and for all. It's not receiving Holy Spirit that will be dwelling in me. No, 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 no. It has not. So, yes, I was talking about falling. The person will fall and most probably the person will can, roll can, on the ground. Can start. I ask a question? <laughs> Go ahead, okay, sir. Uh, my question is you are talking about uh, receiving the Spirit. Uh, but, uh, you know, the receipt of the Spirit is followed by a message, isn't it? Yes, yes. So if I stand on the pulpit and I say, thank you, Jesus, as if I'm receiving spirits, something like that. If you stand on the pulpit and you say, thank you, Jesus. Yes, I, I'm preaching. And then I just do as if I receive something from, you know, whatever. Does it look like okay. that? Uh, if, um, if you have to tell us something, and the way you, we will know that you receive the spirit after behaving um, erratically or okay. Okay. as if something happened, mm -hmm. then you have to talk as if you are God. Mm -hmm. You will speak <laughs> us like, as if you are God. Like, mm -hmm. hello, my people, how are you doing? Something like that. And we will mm -hmm. respond that we are fine, our Lord. We will refer to you as Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, that's how we know. You will address what I see. It won't be thus is the law, though. It won't say this is how God uh, this is what God is saying. No, 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 no. It will speak as if he is God himself, God in the flesh, something like that. Okay, so let's continue your conversation. I think you have um, one more point or a couple of a couple more that we go into our you know branch outs. Go ahead, Rajan. All right. So now, um, falling down, uh, of course, giving tongues, then um, erratic behavior like uh, shaking or someone will have to hold you as you fall down or something like that. That's the what I mean by erratic uh, behavior. Then uh, there are two types of uh, receiving the spirit in CNS. There are just two major types. One is a marathon and the other one is momentary. Momentary is the one you receive per program. Maybe we have seven days program. I receive one today to deliver a message as if I am God for 15 minutes today. Tomorrow again, I, after delivering the message, I'm okay. They will say that they should calm me down. Etulara. So the Yoruba English translation means to calm him down so that it will be normal, something like that. So they will pray for him. It will be normal again. It will behave like he used to behave. The following day, again, it's possible again for him to receive the spirit to deliver another message. So that one is momentary receiving of the spirit. There, wait, there's right. another one. Wait, Brother. Okay. From experience. The people that often fall, what will you say happen to them afterwards? Their, their lifestyle, their behavior. Does that thing really it, have consequences on people that fall down? Nothing, 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 uh, nothing observable. Except for the fact that when the person just uh, finished delivering the message and is now calm, is now normal. He, his facial expression is harsh, like hard, as if he's angry, as if someone offended him. He doesn't have expression of love or acceptance. He looks very serious, and nobody wants to talk to him or her. Mm -hmm. so, the, the program is done, so, and he so might it, go home quietly like that. So but there is nothing. Okay. In all of your yes. days that you were at Uni Unilori, You've seen these um, people in, in the Pentecost, and you, you've once followed Joshua Sema, you've once followed Arume. When you yes. see people fall down in those uh, Pentecostal settings, does it connect to you that these things are the same? In fact, um, there was a time Ar uh, Arume Osai came to Unilorin to give a program. I, I saw those things happening. I wasn't surprised. I, it didn't move me because I was coming from CNS and this is the same thing we used to see. So it's the same. It, it's not different at all. And I I left the home church where they do this thing very so that I can see something better. But when I got to the Pentecostal setting, it was the same thing. It was the same. Thing. In fact, there was no difference. In, that was the day Arome lost his respect. I used to respect him a lot, but that day I didn't. I wasn't impressed at all because it was exactly the same. Nothing changes at all. At okay, all. over to you, Babas. Let's hear from you. Hello, Babas. Okay, go ahead. Okay, sir. Uh, <clears throat> um, <coughs> yes. Um, there's a name. I, I'm surprised that uh, that uh, I don't know whether he has had the, the, the name before in Europe. It's called Ari. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, Ari. Yeah. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, uh, people they have a a saying. Uh, 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 let me speak it in my in my tongue. Uh, there are people who understand English better than me. One talashe bo fun talo talo shangu. This what what uh, what we are describing. What what we are describing uh, for the sake of people who are not necessarily Yoruba. Um, the Yoruba is called it Are. That is what it is called. It's uh, it's, it's from they get they get uh, it's like being mounted. It's like it's like it's like being mounted by a spirit that you become um, 
you become you become a horse. You become a horse that a spirit has taken over. I think that is actually the the way they describe it in Yoruba environment, in, in, in the rural environment. Yes. The, the gods, the god, the, after the sacrifice and the rest of it, when the generally when the drumming is getting to a particular stage, uh, the spirit, the spirit come visiting mm. on some of the some of the leaders, some of the leaders. Uh, many times it is the it is the female that the spirit likes to mount. <laughs> what the what, Yes, what the what they call, but it happens to young men too, to men. What they call being slain in the spirit, I have, the, I think the first time I saw it was around 1964, 1965, when they were doing a Gugum festival in my village. That was when I, that was the first time I saw somebody being slain in the spirit. It was a we were young boys and we were we just went to observe to, to see how they were doing it so and then the spirit uh, took hold of somebody and they started uh, the person started rolling on the on the ground uh, they started the, the lady started prophesying started giving instruction uh, the, the lady started behaving like a like a male i started giving the uh, the uh, uh, the prophecies of what will happen and started issuing the um, rebook to either to people who are uh, social misfits all those kind of thing people who people who are stealing or uh, other people's uh, wives and other people's husbands and who are stealing the, the produce in the farm yeah so it's a uh, uh, when when uh, when this thing was brought by Kenneth uh, Hagin, the Kenneth Hagin uh, cult group, when they brought it into Nigeria, because most of the people that first of all came across this thing, they came across them in Lagos, and they were people generally from the University of Lagos. They they thought that they were doing something uh, peculiar. Those of us who grew up in the village, we had seen it uh, some 20 years earlier, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so, no, it's, uh, it's, it is, the, the name for it is Are in Yoruba. Those of our audience who, who, are, uh, who are very young, they can ask their parents what, what Are means, is, in case they have never, yes, in case they have never seen it before. So, what they call being slain in the spirit, just as um, John was saying, it has nothing to do with the Bible. Mm. And as I said earlier, the first place I saw it was in a was in an Ebukun shrine, because in those days they allow young boys to come around, and we saw them when they were when they were starting the process of coming out. We we, we saw them, and somebody was being mounted by Ray and she was rolling on the ground. She was rolling on the ground and she was... Uh, and people people believe that uh, it was the spirit of the ancestors. It was one of the principal ancestors of the village that had just uh, taken hold of her. So, and they gave her reference. They gave her reference. Mm. They, 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 they were listening to her Everybody wanted to hear what she was saying and all those kind of things. People who are familiar with the FCS in Abuja, they will know that what I'm describing is very common among them. It's common in the um, Dunamis, for example. You understand? It's common in many of these, uh, many of these uh, word of faith places. Apostolic and prophetic. About, uh, I said apostolic and prophetic yes, ministries. Yes, you, you, thank you, sir. They call it apostolic and prophetic ministry. There's nothing apostolic about it. It's a, and it was not brought to Nigeria by Benny Him. Benny Him simply anglicized it. It's, it's, been, it's been with our forefathers since maybe for thousands of years. It is one of the ways that the spirit 
always communicated with them. Mm. That spirit is not the Holy Spirit. No. It is not the Holy Can Spirit. It's the spirit of demons. Mm. Yes, that is uh, that is what I that is what I just want to Sir, I want to draw uh, attention to. Yes. Yeah. Just like uh, just like I observed immediately, John was talking. Affirmed by my brother just now, those things have been with us ever since. Mm. Yeah, so that is why it is acceptable okay. by people. Yeah, if it were not with us, it would have been very, very strange. But everyone seeks for power. Let's 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 they look for power. And they think that that kind of thing is a, a receipt of power. So people are being mm. blindfolded into accepting that kind of norm. I can remember vividly there was a day uh, my late father, we went somewhere in a church. Immediately they started this kind of thing and the mom fell. My dad just grabbed my hand and said, let us go. <laughs> 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 Whether he was afraid that he would fall, or but he just said, let us go. So he was sure that uh, what was happening there has nothing to do with Christ. Mm. He was sure that what was happening there, uh, he may not be able to say it, or later, when I started looking at all these things, I found out that they have been with us, like the array, say, uh, our brother said. You see, during those uh, all this Oro festival, when the when the beating, the, the drum beating is changed fast, the uh, the the demons are active, mm. and the demon being active is ready to. Uh, uh, at least continue to deceive the people because it must continue to deceive the people. Sometimes speaks through them, sometimes does so many things. And like my brother said, they really, what they really do, they use the spirit of clairvoyancy to tell you about something. And that's caught so many people. Mm. It led them into uh, uh, being deceived, being deceived. But like we always say that people who are being deceived, they they actually put themselves, I mean, if it is Christianity, you need to look into the Bible. Mm. Whatever it is, you must look into the Bible. What are these practices? So they, like uh, uh, Brother John said, uh, because I know that when I said they should look into the Bible, they would think that uh, when Brother John said that those people uh, they, uh, uh, they have been pierced to look at. And they will say, oh, yes, Moses, when he came down his eyes, well, they will say that. But what was the message that Moses brought? What are the messages these people are bringing back? And compounding is, a brother said, they, are speak, they speak as if God, oh, my son, my son, my son, or something like that. He, you know, he has said it before, that they speak as it was, God speaking through them. Sorry, please don't be deceived. It mm. is really demon speaking through them. So, Thank sir, you. sir, the Bajokian and the DDG, from what you have said now, Baba said it's like Ari. Sister Yele, good evening, ma. Good, good evening, sir. Bless you, sir. Yes, so, mommy, so you are you you have been so when you see people <laughs> falling under the anointing like this, it's not new to you too. Looking at what uh, growing up, the things you've seen in the village. So it's not new. It's not truly, it's not really a Christian thing. She's uh, it's asking you, Sister Yele. Okay, uh, Brad, Brad, Toki, we can see you moving now. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I, can, I can hear you, Brother John. What did you say? Oh, okay, Mommy. I said, looking at uh, falling under this anointing uh, array that uh, Davatoki has described today, looking at it, uh, is it new to you as well? Do you? Were you, are you able to connect it to the old practice that was synonymous to the Yoruba culture before the advent of Pentecostalism? Well, it's not new to me because, like I said, that uh, I once practiced uh, yoga. I once lived Ooh. in ashram in India. 
No, all those all those ones are not new to me because those are those are the things that they do there. Oh when the guru or the master touch you, you fall under the anointing. He touch you on your forehead. Oh, wow. When they put anointing oil, it touch you on your forehead and ask the third eye to be opened. So all those things were not, they were strange. By the time I now became Christian and then I saw it being practiced there. Wow. We explored that. Let the brother <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, um, John was talking about um, how they acquired the spirit. And he said, he, one of the th first things he said was by birth. <laughs> that, yes, that mm. by birth. That, uh, you see, uh, John John was simply telling us his uh, observation. But uh, I can tell him that uh, one other person that gave similar observation around 1960 was Dr. Kotkoch, the German uh, researcher. That That generally speaking, People and, and what he what he said was that this spirit mounting people at times if you live in a with a family or in a family where the thing is done normally they are they worship idols by whatever name by by whatever name they worship idols that. Generally speaking, the children, the people in those places, they are inducted without they are knowing it. True. Yeah. That, that, I, just, I just like people to get that. that True. Christians have observed for years that some of this, some of this spirit, uh, spirit um, mountain, are you with me? Just like what our sister just said, at times, it needs the adept to touch you. But many at times, they don't need to touch you. The fact that you are generally in the vicinity is dangerous enough because these are spirits. These are spirits. Elder Watoki, let's, yes, let's look at the case of the demonic, the Ngadara. They, they are leaving that man and going into the swine. So something like that will happen when uh, uh, they they actually need a body to uh, yes. yeah. So if you are generally around that area and you don't have the Holy Spirit living living in you, you are likely to acquire that demon. I I think that's is that what you are saying, sir? Absolutely, absolutely. And the consequence we was never gloss over the consequence of what we are saying, you know, mm. because. Many of the people listening to us, they will think that we are speaking English. <laughs> yeah, they will, speak, they will think that we are simply speaking the blowing English. We are not blowing English. We are talking things that are real. And that is to say that it is not, it's a foolish thing for anybody to gather to, to watch magicians. Oh, wow. For example. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh yes. So sir, sir, in on that note, you referenced Egugu Array, yes. Egugu Festival. When I when we moved to Lagos, my parents moved to Lagos in the 70s. I was born in the 80s. Early 90s. They used to do Egugu used to do something they call Idon. Egugu oh, used to yeah. Idon. Yeah, that, so, that's magic. It's not gather crowd because you want to see. That's magic. So could it be that, are you saying that, what you are saying, what me I'm hearing, is that any church where people fall down, either by touch or through music or through laying of hand or just speaking, is synonymous to Edom? It's the same thing. The, same the, thing. the, 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 the demons, you are, you are the one that, uh, that have nomenclature, names mm. for places that you call church, you understand? And you think that it's a holy place, even though the Lord Jesus Christ is not preached there. Mm. You understand? You, you, all of you go there, the, the Christ is never preached. 
in the place. Christ is, you only hear the name of Jesus uh, when, they, when they are finished praying and they want to top it up with the name of Jesus. That is the only time you hear the name of Jesus. But Christ as a person is never preached. And you now see people rolling on the floor, magicians, like you see, Edadele was drawing John's attention to something the other time, which I call a spiritual download. Like, mm -hmm. like, uh, like when, uh, like when uh, Doctor Adeboye is uh, receiving download. I just received download. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Daddy. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Sir. Please, before I go, sorry, sorry, Mr. John. Let me say That's something. One. That's one more. Go ahead, sir. Please, yes. Ahead, sir. You see, Paul in the book of Galatia pronounce curses twice within three verses in Galatians chapter 1, verse 6 to verse, to verse 9, that if anybody brings any other thing, calling it gospel, he must be cursed, even if the person, that the person is cursed, even if the person is an angel, is an angel, even if the person is an angel from heaven, I, I, please, I want to say something that is not is not going to be palatable to people, but they must listen to it because there's only one God in the universe. All the others are liars; they are lying spirits. If you if you if you go and participate in places where they perform magic, courses courses they are like uh, they are like uh, they are that, they are like rain. Mm -hmm. they, flow, they flow around. Causes flow around. People do not know. Mm -hmm. many, many of the people listening to us, they do not know that they already they are already having spirits that are preventing them from from hearing what 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 we are saying. Even though they are they, even they, they understand the English, but they do not really understand the implication, the depth of what we are actually saying. Because if you understand, you will run to the Lord Jesus Christ to have mercy on you. You will run. It's the same thing like if you go to a place like uh, where my uncle is receiving download from daddy. The daddy, the daddy is not the, the God, the, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The, the daddy is a demon. The daddy that Dr. Adeboye receives download from it's a demon. What he pronounces are demonic pronunciations. They are, they are imbued with causes. They are, first of all, they are to deceive you, to give you the impression, to give you a false impression that what the doctor said will happen to you. They generally, it generally doesn't happen. Never. It, it doesn't happen. They don't, it doesn't happen. But people are deceived. And in that their deception, when they come by people like us telling them that, Mr. Man, check your Bible. Somebody is very close to them, blocking their ear, that and blinding their, their eyes, telling them that we, we are jealous of Enokadeboye, since we do not have our own jets. <laughs> That it is the jealousy that is actually our disease. They, they do not see that this is not a physical thing. This is a spiritual thing. I, sorry, sorry for taking your time. I just say I should throw your No, that, that, that's, that's all right. And uh, let me just uh, quickly, because uh, when John was saying that uh, they speak like God, if anybody stand and say that, how your problem? Before you get home, it will be over. Don't think he's a uh, it's a gentle spirit. He's trying to speak like there's only one. I mean, if you read Lamentation three it tells you that who who says uh, uh you know who make things happen or who says when God has not said. You see, and that's generally with uh, Nokadeboy. Generally, in fact, in about 27 minutes preaching, he will say that thing. 
more than five times, uh, somebody here is not receiving need from anyone. Uh, yes. Let us call a spade a spade. Let us tell them that, number one, uh, toying with the spirit is very, very dangerous. Toying dangerous. with demons is very, very dangerous. I'm saying it again. Let me put it. Toying with demons is very, very dangerous. So all the uh, uh, um, the people who do uh, what do deliverance ministry, all those nonsense, all those ones, they are toying. And sir, sir, all the new new 2023 apostles that we have today, all of them, all of them does idom that is used to the masquerade festival in the village. And you know, idom has a way of gathering crowd because you might Magic, be, magic you mean, magic. 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 We want it, yes. Idom means dem demonstration of magic. It has a way of um, human being gravitate towards power. If not for the Holy Spirit, all of us have the propensity to slide into which into the into witchcraft. Oh. So when this let's, mask put it, when this Paul, Paul, let somebody put, let when, them read Acts chapter eight mm. to know what the Bible says about Simon, mm. the sorcerer. He say he made himself to be something because mm. he has taken them. So go ahead. I'm just asking. When, when so people can go and read, you find just three or four masquerades. Then you find thousands of crowds that are coming to watch. So what these guys have just done is to cooperate with demon to gather crowds to come watch them perform. See, uh, Mommy Yele said something this this to me this afternoon. I want her to to go deep into what she has. She hinted us about mm -hmm. the guru practice because that's basically if you watch uh, the two set free channel, there are two words you will hear very well: Shakti Pat, shamanism. Shakti part, shamanism. This practice, this thing falling down, has a name in, in, in the dictionary. It's called Shakti part. And who practice Shakti part? It's a shaman. And I, uh, Mommy Ali intends something about it. I want you to say that very well, ma, about the guru practice, the guru touch, then we'll take it over from there. So, which means, is, like, I know today's yes. conversation, I, I, said, I said, demon, like Edda Watake said, they are not American. European, African. You spoke about array demonstration in the village. It's similar to what Benin practice, America. It's oh, similar yes. to the guru <laughs> practice again. Mommy is going to be telling us the guru. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same umbrella, but in different jacket. Go ahead, man. I, praise the Lord. You know, actually, just like you said, that uh, the demons call the crowd to come and watch. You know, they have this living master. When we were there in, uh, in India, living in the ashram, the living master comes down twice in a day. And when he's coming down, you see, there are some of us that are living in the ashram, Americans, Africans, a lot of us. And then even the Indians themselves, at the specific time that is going to come out, everybody will rush out. Everybody will come. It's just like... Uh, they said alone is coming or what is the popular going in uh, Ibadan that people go out and gather to watch so everybody will come and you'll be waiting that the the guru will look at you or touch you so whoever <laughs> the guru touch at that at that time there is manifestation there is falling down you wait there and then after some time the guru will go up again and then all the people manifesting will just be there until they are able to find themselves back. Hmm. So, and then when uh, all this Pentecostalism started and is actually the same way, hmm. the same way that they said the spirit of laughter, spirit of joy, all these things that they are saying and it's happening there. So that is one of those things that made me in the beginning that I, I, I left from this thing. I'm here, I said I'm born again. I'm, I'm <laughs> the same. It's, a, it's practically the same way. And then the touch, you know, the touch when they say that they anointing you and they put their hand at your forehead. Mm. Because that's the way that they do it in India. They put their hand on your forehead that your third eye should be open. 
Mm. And then oh, they ask you to put your two hands in your hair so that you can hear the voice of uh, the voice. You can hear a lot of things from the spirit world. Mm. Oh, and you know, you know, you know what? The same way. You know what I've just yes, said about the third year, third high? I was in a Pentecostal church and the bishop taught us about third highs. In fact, our heart was like, ah, wait. So he said, close your eyes. We close our eyes. He said, imagine your pastor wearing a red suit and a white shoe. He said, how did you see him? He said, that's a third high. And he began to drill deep, deep down. But thank God now I'm born again. I know that all these things are satanic. The third high. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, Esther, our elders and our sister, I want to read something and that will change our conversation. Jesus said in John chapter 3, verses, um, verses 7 to 8, he said, Do not marvel that I said to you, must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you yet sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is everyone that is born of the Spirit. The true Holy Spirit, you don't know. You don't know. It's not a feeling. So I'm saying this, sir, because this topic will save a lot of people. Arome does things that you know, just looking at you, it will tell you a spirit is moving and people are falling down. Same man does the same thing. Oropo does the same thing. Enechi does the same thing. Anoyinka does the same thing. They are from the same school. But Jesus said, you don't know. You can't tell, Baba. This one that we are knowing and we are telling. How dangerous is it? Like, okay, okay. go ahead, Baba. Go ahead, sir. No, sir. Go ahead, sir. Please go ahead, sir. You see, the underlying denominator. See, please toy with demons. That's the underlying denominator, and all those ones knowing, they just want to call themselves something when they are actually not but more importantly more importantly is you 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 who are participating with them because this is supposed to be a sort of a discussion which can deliver you from this kind of a, a, a thing this a, a, a toying with the spirit so the fact of the case is that the way of the Holy Spirit, he doesn't shake you. He doesn't do all those nonsense that they think that he does. Philip went to Samaria. He didn't do nothing to him other than preaching the word. Paul went around. He wasn't shaking or climbing up or down. He was actually merely speaking the word of God. In Matthew chapter 4, when the when Satan came to Jesus, he was merely speaking the word of God. And I tell you, this uh, uh, act that uh, 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 you 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 have a premeditated way of receiving the Spirit. You have just had him read John chapter three. No one's no God himself is the only one that does is work and it's miracle thank you so baba in addition any yeah. consequence go ahead sir no no before you see the people that do these things there's a name the bible called them they, call, they are called deceived deceivers <laughs> yep a roman selman um in Okadeboye, everybody in their group is first of all a deceiver but they are generally deceivers that are deceived themselves hmm. you see the spirit of god is the spirit of god nobody gives him a timetable hmm. to do anything hmm. We are talking of we are talking of the spirit that upholds the universe mm -hmm. with the trillions of the stars. 
billions of beings, trillions of beings, angels, and so on. You do not give him time to do anything. No timetable for him. So if anybody comes around and says that, look, uh, I, I can transfer the Holy Spirit to you tomorrow. Or, or there's a technique, there's a way, there are ways. If you, if you people start singing now, and the song gets to a particular stage, whoever I touch or whoever I point to, whoever I look, the person will have a spirit. That spirit can never be the spirit of the God of, of the universe. The spirit that can be transferred that is under the beck and call of a human being is only the spirit of Satan. Mm -hmm. And, and it's only <laughs> for show. My brother, my brother, yes, you will continue. Yes, sir. So, if we are starting this service, and I started saying, let the spirit of the Lord come down. And if anybody, any spirit there, it is not the Holy Spirit. Because no, never. it is the believers in who the Spirit of God lives that actually into that garden they came along with the Spirit of God that dwells in them. Yeah. The Spirit that comes to put up a show mm. is, is not the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God never puts up a show ne because it, it never tries to impress anybody and nobody can impress him. The Spirit of God never impresses anybody, and no, no human being can impress him. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing you can do on earth or in heaven that will impress the person who constitutes everything. Mm -hmm. You cannot call him, you cannot summon him. He cannot be summoned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so people singing, let the Spirit of the Lord come down. They are actually singing a song that originates from from Kofuns, where they are summoning spirits, where they are summoning spirits. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the spirit of God, the spirit of God is God, and is omnipresent. You do not summon him. You don't give him command, and you cannot transmit him. Oh. You cannot transmit him by anything physical. So the, nobody can transfer anointing. You cannot. Thank you, sir. You cannot transfer anointing. Something like that. It's not possible. Anywhere anybody says that he's transferring anointing. Uh, the, the video that we did on, um, on maybe one of the last uh, two or three videos that we did Bra Edadele and, and, and I, we did not get to his particular section there, where my uncle was a uh, sort of congratulating himself with his uh, interpreter. <laughs> and he was, saying, he was saying, "Well, you know, I I I I made a conscious effort to move a little far from you today because uh, there's." So much anointing coming out of my body, <laughs> and uh, if, if the I'm talking of I'm talking of Doctor Doctor Inokateboye, and it's a recent uh, video. It's a recent it's video. Recent, it's just about two weeks. It just it, it's, the man said this thing about two weeks ago. If anybody needs the video, I have it. I have it because the man does not know anything about the spirit of God. So it was simply now. So and and I looked at him whether he. He was joking. He was not joking. He wasn't. He was serious. He was talking to the Yoruba interpreter. You, you know, you, maybe you didn't notice that I, I move a little far from you today because uh, so much anointing is coming out of uh, my body. And if you are, if you are too close to me, um, it's a uh, of physical distance between them. Yes. So, yes. So, yes. People need to understand that. Yes. Physical distance. Physical distance. That as, by, I, by, I think it's like a magnetic field. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, as if anointing, anointing is a mag, is a magnetic field. It's a magnetic field, and and anybody within that magnetic field uh, begins to roll, begin to to tumble, because they they cannot even maintain their uh, their stability, posture. their posture. Yeah, I don't know. No, those uh, th those are not the spirit of God. This is what we are saying, that the job we are doing here is a rescue duty. We are doing a rescue duty under the spirit of the, of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever, whoever will pay attention to what we are saying, that these people, they are not men of God. Dr. Adebo is not a man of God. It's not. These people are not men of God. Because they are talking of a God that is not present in the Bible. It's foreign to Sir, the Bible. I want to ask our mommy a question. Mommy, please. Because you you've given us the, the guru side of this uh this this evil, this danger. Do you think there are consequences to anyone that fall under those gurus? I call those pastors gurus as well. They are all the same. Does he have from what you've seen so far? Does, does it does it have consequences on them? Uh, mommy, please. Well, well, you know, sometimes it looks like hypnotism and manipulation because in most cases, except the spirit of God delivered such people, you just find out that there's nothing you can say about that movement, about that thing that they are doing that they can change. Because it's like uh, in, in, another spirit have entered them. Because I know that it was just the mercy of God that set us free from the when we were in India. Because we have sold everything that we have. We have decided to be living with the living master. Wow. So it will take the mercy of God. And that's why, you know, sometimes you ask yourself that why are these people still following these people? They should understand. Because sometimes you see the manipulation, you see the magic, you see the lies, but yet. You know, when they listen to messages like this, they will come there, they will abuse you, they will say all sorts of things that you are the one that is lying. But what I know is that the Bible has said that narrow is the way that leads to God. The other way is the world way. So, and, was, and many people just follow and said, if this person can have millions of people in his church, then it is true. Not knowing that a church is different from having a relationship with Jesus. Ezra, mommy, you said something which was uh, good the other time, and what you said was demons, magicians always draw crowd. So uh, I don't think we should be uh, 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 we we should be amazed that they still draw crowd because those people. I said it, and I think uh, uh, Brother Batuki can uh, bear me witness that people who line up that uh, uh, express road, let go to the express road, they are there to receive something in particular. Not just also. They are there for physical thing. And anybody who has an idea, because the gathering of the children of God does, it's not about physical thing. It's about exaltation of our God. But they are there because they will tell them uh, what you have come to receive today, God will give to you. So because they know exactly what they have come to. Well, Rashallah, you can get on, sir. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, um, I, I want to thank God that uh, God called uh, Paul. To, co to come back with this question. <laughs> it's, it's a very important question. Do, does, it have a, do, does it have any effect on those people? The answer is capital. capital yes. So, sir, combine the two, the ones that fall and the one watching. The two. Everyone. Everyone, e everyone, everyone, is, on, everyone is under, under, under causes of the devil. <laughs> mm. Every, everybody there, everybody there, is under causes of the devil. 
That is what you have in Galatians chapter 1, verse 6 to verse 9. They are caused. Please, please permit me to quote, uh, to, to mention the name of Dr. Kotkoch again. Because God actually used him to, to help me to begin to look at the at this particular thing uh, in various tribes, virtually in most tribes of the earth. And what Dr. Koch will tell you is that if you are in such an environment, you are actually operating under a ban. It is called, it is called a ban, B-A-N. You have you have a demon of a group of demons that actually act as a as screen to you mm -hmm. that prevent you from seeing the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. They they distort when even when you hear the gospel, they distort the gospel to you. So that you do not understand it. The best they allow you to do is to have fake faith. Not the true faith. So that you continue in the deception. And you rather you rather want the deception rather than simply picking the Bible. Believing the words that are inside the Bible. So, so it, it, it is called a ban. B A N. A -L. Yes, B A N. They operate under under the ban. It is for every one of us. I'm not singling out our sister. Sir. Every one of Sir, what year did the Dr. Cut Crush made that statement? What year? The, the books, the books were written around, uh, around between around 1954. Yeah. I want to, to around, I want to prove what you have said now. I want to do a test of hypothesis. Brother John, please come online. What is your reaction when you preach the gospel to people in in the Ladura? I want to test what you have said now. People were exposed to this Shakti Path spirit. Brother John, please come online. Where are you? <laughs> What's your what's your what's your experience when you preach the gospel to people in the Adura who are exposed to this uh, Shakti spirit? What what they comment on, uh, on them most is the fact that um, the person of the letters that it is the spirit that give life. The letter kills. They misinterpret. They misinterpret the gospel. Remember what was said in 1954? We have tested it right now. Asa, it is the same effect. One day you, we invited you to, to do a teaching for us on our platform on the can Christians decree and declare. A young boy was, was agitating like a, like, a, like a caught snake. You know, when you cut snake into two, it just mm -hmm. agitates. Mm -hmm. He's exposed to these things too. They will never take it. No. They will never believe the simple gospel. Okay. They will never believe what the Bible says. I, 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 I can't remember who was talking when they said somebody came, uh, some, maybe it's the book that is in Nebra, Shola's house, you know, about uh, when they came, they said, ah, why are people coming to redeem camp? The man said, because they, 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 they are, their prayers as answers, something like that. Because they are receiving their miracles. They are receiving their miracles. Yeah, yeah. As as if it is about miracle, and not they don't think about uh, eternal life. They never think about eternal life, and they are evil men. I always refer to Second Timothy three thirteen. They are evil men, mm. imposters. They they will be watching strong mm. because daily, daily, they have you know they are master give them utterances, utterances to deceive, so that when they deceive, they are already our brother has called them the deceived deceiver. <laughs> they are already deceived, and then they, they continue. They will be watching strong, and that is the uh, 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 there's the tragedy. 
of this time we are living in, the tragedy of Arume, the tragedy of the one uh, dome, what do we call it, the tragedy of uh, Selman, the tragedy of uh, every one of them. And the, boy, uh, the, boy, this, the tragedy. Sir, they, say, they actually say the truth. They actually say the truth. When people fall down under the anointing, they will say your life will never remain the same. Yeah, yeah never. <laughs> <laughs> they'll say, help him, help him. That's what I'm falling, that brother falling, help him. I shall rise up, your life will never remain the same. They are very correct. Your life yeah. will never remain the same. They are very correct. Yeah. Let yeah. me read this book. Mark chapter 9, verses uh, 16. Mm. And he asked them, what are you arguing about? What are you arguing about with them? This is Jesus coming down from the mountain. Verse 17. And someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a spirit that makes him mute. And whenever it sees him, the spirit that sees people, it throws him down and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. So I asked your disciples to cast it out and they were not able. That thing has, spirit, has a lot of meaning for us, right? The spirit that sees people, people makes you go out of control makes you fall down it's not from god it's not it's not from god whether you wave mm. your jacket and people fell it sees them it makes them go <laughs> makes them lose very fair john 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 in act in revelation one was saw the glory of the lord he didn't lose control they were talking or Paul in Acts 9, he didn't lose control. Who are you, Lord? He didn't lose his mind. The spirit that makes you lose your mind. And the pastor says, after that, your life will never remain the same. He's correct. Your life will never remain the same. <laughs> but Baba always says something in this video. When you wake up from the dead, and you start for Jesus, you will know that your life has not been the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's not a laughing matter because we yeah. say it with all seriousness that when you close your eyes in death and you wake up and you know where you are, you know that your life has not remained the same. same. But someone is here, some people are hearing us now. You are still alive. Baba, when people go to a church where they fall down, even though you have not fallen down before, because some people don't fall down even though in, that, in those environments. Baba, I've said you are not exonerated. For being in that environment, cost is like a rain, it's on everyone. What should they do? People will find themselves in a place like that. They, they only need to, generally, they must repent they must first of all repent and follow Christ. Repent, confess Christ. Uh, except they do that. Uh, John just posted uh, uh, Mark 12, around 35, 36, when he said that when uh, a man is uh, delivered of his spirit and he, you know, come back and find it empty, <sighs> he brings some more, and in fact, their life never remained the same because at that particular time, <laughs> he has brought more. And we can see when the Spirit of God is really in you, there's no way any other Spirit can come in. What of someone who have fallen before? How can you help that person? Someone who have, they have done this thing for you and you fell. What should that person do? Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to, I'm reading uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Uh, Wherefore, come out from among them, among them. Mm. Mm. and be ye separate, said the Lord, mm. and touch not the unclean thing. Mm. These are unclean things. Can you please put it on the screen? I think that is important. Okay, um, okay. John, me... John will do it. Okay, okay. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17. Mm. Yes. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. 
nothing is more unclean than demons. <laughs> mm. There's nothing more unclean than demons. The fact that we do not see the uncleanness with our physical eyes means nothing. God's command to everybody, first and foremost, is that they should come out, come out from any of these so-called churches. I want to tell, give example, give a, well, I don't know whether it is a testimony or something like that. Many of the people that the Lord had delivered from these courts, part of what happened was that God asked them to stop attending the services mm. of winners, the services of redeem. Sir, uh, my, Sir. my brother, uh, wait, 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 uh, John. Put that thing up again, and then what? I I I want uh, my brother to read verses eleven and twelve. You see, uh, and then you can continue. put that. Go on, sir. Before you okay. stop it, let, 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 uh, hear what Paul said about them. Okay. Okay. Let me let me open that place again. It's talking about they are restricted by their own affection. They are, it is they are not wanting to <laughs> live. Okay. So the, the very first thing that I advise people, which which are, it has always worked, basically, mm. stand back. Stand back, move away. The idea that if you do not go to redeem church, something if it will happen to you is not true. If if your if your purpose is to that they want to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not true. The further you move, the further you move away from them, the clearer the vision becomes to you that you had been worshiping demons all of your life. Many people, many people, even these Bible passages that we that we put, we splash on the screen. Eh? They, they don't understand them. If Not that they don't understand English. These are people who have BSc and MSc and PhD. Because they are hard. So it is not that they don't understand English. Close. The issue is that their heart has been stolen away by demons. Hmm. Their heart is not, they are, they are not, go, just as uh, I, I, I would tell you, they don't go to redeem, to seek God. They go there to seek for power. Miracle. They are, they are not seeking God. Because if you are seeking God, repentance will be part of the dress you wear. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ will be the most important thing to you. And when you hear God's word, when you hear God's word, when you hear the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ, it will, it will, it will strike a chord in your mind. You would like to hear more. And the more you hear, as we say, the more you, the more the connection between you and whatever spirit is ruling in redeem is loosened. The more you move away from those people, the clearer the picture becomes to you. Because that is God's instruction that come out from among them and, and be separate. That it is after that that he will receive you. Mm. If, if, if anybody here watches this video and tries to rationalize what he has been hearing in Winner's Chapel, in, in Deeper Life, in Redeem, in MFM, and so on and so forth, the, the person is deceiving himself. Sir. Sure. Because for as long as you continue to go there, the darkness will continue to envelop you. You are correct, sir. Yes. But when they when they stop, when they stop, let let just stop for the for the first one month and just read the Bible alone. 
Turn your house on Sundays. Mm. Turn your house on week, week, weekdays and so on. All those programs. Cut, remove the number, remove the telephone number and get yourself out of the WhatsApp group mm. of your redeemed group. Delete it. Separate yourself for four weeks. Pick your Bible. Go on your knees and pray to the Lord Jesus Christ to have mercy on you. And beg him to forgive you for worshiping idols and for following demons. You will <laughs> discover, you will discover that little by little, your eyes will begin to open. The, your eyes will never open completely in six months. At times it could be up to two years before you begin to see more clearer. But generally within about six weeks and so on, you begin to know one thing or the other that you saw six months ago when the man asked you to worship uh, a comb or to worship a, a, a rod or to do this or to say this or say that and you thought he was saying things that were godly you begin to see that those things were not were actually antichrist statements sir as i as we wrap up before i i go i go out in, as you were saying this, it's, it's impressed in my heart that I should, I should not necessarily go to told me, but I'm remembering what how the Lord delivered me from winners to, to, to substantiate what you'll be saying. You also said something, you said six weeks, as if you know what I was thinking. He said six weeks. So I had been addicted to the winner setting. Actually, those services are addictive. The praise the environment, the atmosphere, and the audacious faith, which is not faith, that the preacher distributes. How was I delivered? All of a sudden, I felt like I want to go be a teacher in the children's church. And if you are going to be a teacher in the children's church, you are going to be trained for seven weeks. Huh. At the same time, while the big church was going on, so I did not listen to the big man for seven weeks. I was going for the training. Actually, the people who were doing the discipleship do not believe the big man, but they have been made deacons and deaconesses. <laughs> they, they like the title. They question what the big man is saying. They don't go to him, but they have gotten titles, so they, they don't want to leave. But they were Christians. Some of them came from a Christian background because they are they were fighting the curriculum the big man asked us to teach the children they wanted to teach the children the gospel but the big man wants us to teach the children oil water and sh shamanism anyway so these people were training me how to be a teacher in a children's church every sunday for seven weeks by the end of the program i lost interest in winners it became irritative irritating to me by the end of the, no no evangelism, nobody preached to me. It just, I didn't know. I was just in that class every Sunday morning to hear how to teach children the Bible. By the time I was done in seven weeks, I hated to go to the big church. It's irritating me. Just seven weeks of isolation. Then I left winners. Both the children and the win and the big church, I left the whole place because it's irritating <laughs> to me. Amen. That was how Amen. I walked out. Amen. How did the Lord deliver me from Catholicism? I was in Catholic before. In fact, I was in Catholic seminary. For a year, I lost interest in communion. So I wasn't participating again. After one year, I, I walked out of Catholicism after one year. So what you have said, anyone listening to us, just obey the simple instruction of the Bible. Walk out. Forget every other thing for now. Just walk out with your Bible in your hand and prayer. Just kneel down and pray to God and read the Bible. Just walk out from now. Make a date from now. Don't go back there. It's addictive. It's like someone who is winning from the effect of alcohol or the effect of drugs. You need to isolate yourself to be free. First of all, follow the instruction. Baba, you read the same um, second quality as you read. It's if, if proof to prove that it's not your affection that is pulling you back. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the performance, close your eyes yes. and walk out. Just walk. I walked out after several weeks in Winners and lost interest and I never went back to today. 
Yeah. Nobody prayed to me for me, but God, I can see God behind the scene. He used that children church to isolate me from that addiction. Brothers and sisters, if you are listening to us today, just do that. If you have been addicted to Arome, some of you are not even in Nigeria. You are in America or England, and you can't do that listening to Joshua Sema, Arome, Bojo Yemadi. Just stop. Close your Facebook. I have deleted my Instagram because I don't want to see them again. Delete your Facebook or you, whatever angle they are coming through. Close it for the next seven weeks with your Bible and prayers to God. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, let, let mommy pray for us so that before we go. Okay. Mommy, can you pray for us? And pray for our audience as well. Is she there? Um, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to say thank you. We bless you, Lord God Almighty, for your love, for your mercy, for your kindness, for your steadfast love. We thank you, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, because it pleased you to bring us out of darkness into your marvelous light. We thank you, Daddy Lord, because it's only you. It's not by power, it's not by might, it's not by anything that we do. It's not because of our righteousness. It is just because of your love for us. Because many people, we are not better than those who are still in the, in the midst of the chamas. We are not better off than them. But your love such us true. Therefore, Daddy Lord, we just pray this afternoon, O oh Lord, we pray for as many, O oh Lord, that are seeking you truly, who have found themselves even in the, in the midst of all these wounds. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that in your mercy, you will deliver them in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. That in your mercy, O oh Lord, they will read their Bible and they will have an understanding. And then there will be a, a, a question in start, starting in their mind a question in wanting to know whether what they are being taught is right or wrong. A questioning that will make them to seek you and not seek man, not to seek for power, because all power belongs to Jesus. We don't need any power. All we need is just a surrendered life. Lord, I pray for as many that we hear this message, Lord. I pray, oh Lord, God Almighty, that your word will bear fruit. It will be like a double-edged sword in their hearts. It should be like hammer that we start pounding their heart unto salvation in the name of Jesus. And Lord God Almighty, we we'll pray for ourselves, O oh Lord, that the spirit of pride will not come over us in the name of Jesus. We pray that you continually give us the spirit of humility as we are teaching people to bring them unto understanding, Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will humble us in the name of Jesus. Yes. Blessed Amen. be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen.